We don't need to take our clothes off. I need to pee. Whoa, oh shit. Fuck. Oh, that's just great. <laughs> Welcome back. First, some personal updates. Number one, this shirt. Out of this binary, I bought it from Waste to Race, also the company that is doing the Black Trans Lives Matter campaign right now, so check them out if you want to. Number two, I got a new binder. I'm wearing it right now. It's from TC2B, and it's so great. Oh man, I was so excited to get these in, and now I do, and it's just so much better. Here. My chest is so much flatter right now. Like I'm wearing most of my shirts again and my jumpers, hoodies, whatever. Oh, I'm so happy about it. So yeah, that's personal update number two. Number three is that I am going to the gender clinic at the end of this month. I'm going to Amsterdam and have my intake. It's not like a huge appointment or anything, it's just intake appointment, but yeah, things are starting, this is starting, and it's great, it's really great, really excited, <laughs> and a bit scared, I hope everything goes well, well, we'll see, and yeah, number four is that I changed my name, I'm changing it to Noah, if you want to see why, the link is down below to a video I made on my personal channel, so yeah. Out if you want to, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, to this week's video topic thing, um, we're talking about whether you discovered your gender identity first or your sexuality. For me, um, for me, I think it was there's a like okay, I have to split this up in a few things like noticing things, acceptance, and coming out. I noticed that I was not heterosexual when I was around 12, 13, so I noticed feelings, but I kept them deep down somewhere, and then I accepted it when I was 16, 17, and then coming out same age. I noticed that I was gender non-conforming when I was very young. Yeah, that's basically it. I, but I didn't know what this feeling was called or what it meant, and then Acceptance came only when I was 20. 21. 21. <laughs> what? Kind of like 20. 21. Not 20. Not 20. And coming out was 21. Yeah. 21. So it's pretty, pretty new. Yeah, so that's kind of how it went for me. And I just want to say that gender identity doesn't define your sexuality. I mean, most of you guys probably know, but yeah. It's not like, it doesn't have to be connected at all. You have trans guys that are like guys, you have non-binaries that like everyone. You have heterosexuals, apparently those exist, <laughs> and they are cis or not, whatever. You know, there's so much out there. I just want to say that and don't be afraid that if you are, if you think you're a tomboy, that, that you immediately have to be attracted to girls or that you are trans. It doesn't have to be that way. Alright, so that was it for this week's video. So yeah, that was it for this week. Hope you liked it. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. Can you leave subscribe? Nope, you can't. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Sub subscribe. Sub subscribe. Sub 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 subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Oh god. I promise I didn't just pee here. It was a tea.